Today on DIY Solar Power at Papa, I want to talk to you about the benefits of these mini splits. Well, it's 114 degrees outside for the last week, and for the next week, it's projected as well. The one thing that I like about these is they're taking the inside air, just like your vehicle, that can blow out extremely cold air because it's recirculating the air inside the cabin of your car. These do the same thing. They're recirculating the air in the room. This one right now is actually blowing out 34 degrees and it's been running, uh, it's been running about uh, five hours and it's still blowing out 34 degree air. As where these up here, when I have those on, they're blowing out about 65 degree air. The biggest difference is that is up there in that attic, it's 115 to 120 degrees or more when it's 114 degrees out. So the vent, I just checked the temperature of that vent right up there by that fan and it's blowing out 65 degree air. There's a 30 degree difference in this air temperature. So during a day when it's hot like this, downstairs, I like to run that mini split and this mini split. This mini split's about 38 degrees. Once again, it's been running for about five hours. So this, that cool, that one over there cools all that. And this one over here cools all the way down there. Now, the problem I have upstairs is I only have two mini splits and they're two of the four bedrooms. So I need to run the main air conditioner upstairs. But I've got the temperature. It's 111 degrees outside right now. And it's 76 degrees inside with these two mini splits running. If I tried to run my main air conditioner, I wouldn't be able to get it any lower than this. But right now I'm running half the amount of watts to keep it at the same temperature. Once again, the temperature in this room is 76 degrees as it's recycling the air. And for the main air conditioner, it's like 115 and 120 degrees up there in the attic. Now it's sucking in the air up here and that air up there on the ceiling is around 74 degrees. And in the hallway on the thermostat, it is 70, yeah, 74 degrees right now up there. So I can run that up there. That's not too bad because it's cooling the whole upstairs. But when it's really hot outside, these do a much better job for me than my main air conditioner in the house. I like being able to run that, but I could run both of these mini splits down here and still have 2000 watts, 2500 watts left over to use for something else. So what I'll usually do is run the two mini splits down here, the two mini splits upstairs, although I'm not running them right now, and then I'll run the main air conditioner upstairs that's vented and cools all the rooms, and I can get that temperature down to about 70 degrees upstairs um, if I run those two mini splits. But it's 74 degrees right now. When it's 114 out, that's, <laughs> that's a 40 degree difference. So I'm, I'm fine with that. I just wanted to share with you though, this is just a one ton, 12,000 BTU. And I believe this is a 14 sear. And the other one that I showed you over there is a 16 sear. So that one blows a little colder than this one does. But these things together, I've got them on the same inverter and they're only pulling about 1200 watts, even being 114 degrees out. So, they're really doing a great job. And I have no problem running these things all day. They never quit on me. They never shut down. They just keep running. And they're really, really efficient when it gets cold. Now, when it gets down to it's 105 degrees or less outside for the high, then I can run my main air conditioner and I can get that down in the 60, high 60s inside because the outside temperature isn't quite so hot. It's not heating up that attic. But that A coil up there in that attic is just hot. And every time 
that thing cycles on and cycles off, it heats up so quick with a 40, 50 degree temperature difference up there that it just isn't able to keep doing this. Now, it is 1230 today and by about 3, 330, this will be down to about 72 degrees because the sun won't be on the east side of the house, which is this side. It will be overhead and it'll be much easier to cool this space. So, if you're thinking about wanting to get a mini split and wondering how efficient they are, they're much more efficient than those window um, room air conditioners where you vented out a window. Um, those are horrible. They're taking the air that you have inside and they're venting it outside. So, you're losing air inside your room. Now, the window air conditioner. The actual window air conditioner actually does the same thing as this. It just recycles your air, so that's good. But the other ones that have that tube on it that goes outside and blows all that hot air, that's horribly inefficient. So, you know what? These things, uh, they're running around $600 right now, and the other one's $650 to $700. But our electric bill this month was $146 for living out in Arizona where it's just extremely hot and we are running the daylights out of this air conditioner. At nighttime, we're running it on the grid. So we're averaging um, less than $5 a day, all day for running all of our air conditioning and running our stove, oven, everything else, laundry. Uh, we were doing our laundry out in the garage, but we're kind of doing the we're saving so much electricity with these things right now that we're just doing the uh, uh, laundry in the house because it's over in a room and it really doesn't heat up the house. So when it goes into the fall again, we'll start doing it out in the garage again with our heat pump dryer and our regular washer. So but I just want to let you know that when it's 114 degrees out, for these downstairs, these do a much better job than my main AC. And that main AC is a four ton, and it's only about three and a half years old. But like I said, it's, it's 114 degrees out, and it's 115, 120 or more up in that attic. And it's having to fight that temperature. So it just can't seem to keep up cooling this down here as well as just too many splits. That use less than half the amount of power. Please like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And I hope you have a truly wonderful and extremely blessed day.